When you buy a motorhome from Brownhills, you automatically become a member of Club Brownhills for as long as you own that vehicle. Club membership gives you the benefit of various discounts and invitations to four complimentary motorhome events each year. There are three slightly narrower bodied models in Brownhills Eldis Evolution coach built range, all of them based on the latest Peugeot Boxer cab with the new Euro 6.2 140 bhp engine. They all come with a metallic black cab, alloy wheels, an awning, sky view over cab sunroof, solar panel and external shower and barbecue points. Cab spec includes ESP, heel assist, traction control, automatic lights and wipers and a reversing system, as well as the Lux pack which gives you cab air conditioning, cruise control and the passenger airbag. We're looking first at the 135 model and despite this being just 5.99 metres long, it does have two rear travel seats as well as a lounge at the back. So quite a versatile seating area up front with a little coffee table, as I say, two passenger seats there. And then moving back through the vehicle, you've got this quite generous kitchen area that includes an oven and grill. And then the hob has both three gas burners and a mains hot plate. Your cooking options continue with a built-in microwave above, and then your fridge is a three-way model down here. Over on the other side of the vehicle is quite a comprehensive shower and toilet compartment, but the key part of this layout is the rear lounge. Not only is this a comfortable place in which to relax, but the seats actually fold away and you can load stuff through this hatch in the back panel. Or you can convert this into a transverse double bed. The 120 model is the same 5.99 metres overall, but it's a pure two berth layout. So no rear travel seats, but you still can use the cab area on site because both seats swivel around. So if somebody's asleep at the back, this does make for a versatile secondary seating area. For such a compact model, this 120 does feel very spacious. Similar sort of kitchen facilities to the 135, washroom still on the off side, but because you haven't got the travel seats, you gain space in the rear lounge, which is now long enough for you to really put your feet up and even use these settees as single beds. If you prefer a double, that's not a problem. You can sleep across in a transverse double bed too. The third model in the range is the same length again, but the layout is completely different. For one thing, the door is in the centre of the vehicle, and then you come in and turn left into this front lounge area with two parallel settees that make into a transverse double bed. Another pure two berth model, the 105, has a very generous floor to ceiling wardrobe, but the key feature is right across the stern in this spacious washroom. Not only have you got plenty of room in here, but you've got a completely separate shower. If you want to avoid campsite facilities, that will be the reason to buy. 